I cannot Google her name fast enough. Selling cars over the years, I've sold cars to every type, breed of person imaginable. I have sold to athletes, all the way to single moms. I mean, just everything in between. You know, witches, it's always a lot of fun, you know, and you gotta be a people person in sales. And you always get to meet new people, and you know, something I tell people all the time is I sell to sell again. I love to sell. It's just fun putting a deal together with somebody that knows you from nobody. But this is probably one of the cooler experiences, and this didn't happen too long ago. We put on car shows all over the Southeast. It's called Hot Rods and Happy Hour. You know, and I push collector cars and things of that nature now. We host car shows for all kinds of great charities and, you know, race car drivers and things of that nature, and I love it. We have a blast with it. Well, of course, we have a radio show that's heard worldwide now. It's took off and done well. And the radio station in our hometown hosts a large car event every year, actually twice a year, called Carolina Motor Fest. We're down and we're hosting these shows and got all the speakers set up. And of course, Rob's doing the MCing and the music and keeping everybody hopping, having a good time. Great show, great turnout. Two weeks prior, I purchased a 1970 split bumper RSSS Camaro. A pretty desirable car. The first gen Camaros went insane in value and have reached that virtually unobtainable to normal people price range. So now the second gens have gotten extremely hot because it's the next ones in line. And they're a good looking car. This car came available. It was a great price. A guy built it, did a wonderful job restoring it. It's been modded just enough, but just a good looking car. And we bought it at a fair price. I put my dad in it driving and he brought it up to Carolina Motor Fest. So part next to the vent trailer and hanging out and yeah, doing, doing the car show thing, just showing off a little Camaro. Had a little for sale sign at the bottom of the screen on the phone, or the bottom of the windshield with my phone number on it. I'm hosting the show, really didn't think a whole lot about it, didn't even get a chance to really look at the car. I noticed in my peripheral vision a lady that's about 5'10, 5'11, with pink hair walking around it. Tends to stick out a little bit, especially at a racetrack in a small town, but mm, didn't think much about it. Well, I noticed her again walking around this car a couple hours later. Nice build, pink hair, tattoos running down her arm. Pretty sure she doesn't run the office at the church. Looking at this Camaro. Well, I didn't think much about it. We finished the show, show went great. Well, my phone rings and I answer it. It's a female. She says, hey, I was at the car show yesterday and I was looking at your Camaro. And instantly, this pink haired lady popped in my head. She said, you might have recognized me. I had the pink hair. I said, actually, I did catch you out of the corner of my eye a couple of times. She said, I absolutely love that car and I would love to come look at it. And I said, well, it's back at my shop in Greenville. I'd be more than happy to show it to you tomorrow, which would be Monday. She agreed and she came out to the shop to look at it. She come rolling up in a new Jeep Wrangler at my shop. She got out with this big kind of big for nothing muscly guy. And they looked at the Camaro. In just no time, we're telling jokes, we're cutting up, talking about cars, just bullshit about everything. Selling the car is a small part of actually selling a car. So we're sitting in my office. She's never drove the car at this point. We're sitting in my office and she says, I really like the car. And she said, is this a fair price? Yes, I think it's a very fair price. I think the car's priced right for the market. And I explained to her that the advantages of collector cars, how they're going up in value, and they're great investments. She said, well, I've been looking for something to invest my money in. She said, how fun would this be when I'm in town to drive my Camaro around instead of renting a Jeep or something like that? And I'm like, that would be a great. And I said, I noticed the California area code. I said, what do we do for a living? She said, I'm an adult film star. I said, really? She said, yeah, I've been doing that for the last few years. I've been in town visiting my family in 96 South Carolina. Google it, it's a bump in the road. She said, I'm in town about two months out of the year. She said, my boyfriend lives here, big for nothing. And she said, he has an airplane hangar and if he'll let me keep it there, I'll take it. Jersey Shore steps up and says, yeah, that's fine. 
She pays me for the car. She actually wrote me a check for it. I said, well, obviously, I'm not going to release the car until the fund's clear. She said, that's fine. She said, that's fine. I said, would you like to drive it? She said, I would love to. Now, keep in mind, this Camaro is nowhere near stock. Four-wheel disc brakes, modified suspension. It's got a 383 Chevrolet Stroker motor in it with a cross frame and two four-barrel carburetors. It is an automatic. It's got a 700 R4 overdrive transmission in it. So we fired it up, you know, and it was sitting there idling. I said, hop in. So we go around the block, me and the porn star in this 70 split bumper Camaro. The smile on her face is ear to ear. You could not chisel it off her face. And, you know, she's cruising around, kind of grandma on it, 10 and 2. I told her, I said, busted my ass. That's what's made to do. It's insured. She took it around the block. She's in love. She says, yes, I've got to have it. Now, keep in mind, this is spring, early spring. It's a little cooler out, whatnot. Check cleared. She come, picked up her car. She was gone with it. And everybody thought the story was over there. Well, I get a call about three days later. She said, how much would it cost me to have air conditioning put on my Camaro? She said, it just gets so hot. I said, you're gonna spend about $4,500 adding air to this car. And I said, but it will add to the value of it. And you know, it would be a great car. She said, it's almost a little too hot, Rod. Can we take like the dual carburetors off of it? I'm like, yeah, we can. We can do that too. And I said, you know, we probably can just put you a single intake and single carburetor and kind of mild, mild it down a little bit, key it down. She's like, you know, just make it a little driver friendly. She didn't got it flooded a couple times and all that. I said, well, bring it back by the shop and we'll discuss something. She said, well, I'll be going out of town for a little while, so you'll be dealing with my boyfriend. That's perfect. So she's headed back to work and I'm dealing with big for nothing. He brings the Camaro, it's skipping, foul plugs killing me you know they're not they're not car people they don't know they just like it you know we talk about all the, the avenues to take to get this car where she likes it and I'm thinking to myself we're gonna spend so much more money on this car wouldn't it be better to find her something else with air and maybe not as hot rod as this car is as modded well I call her up we'll call her Julie say Julie you ever thought about finding another car Maybe the Camaro's a little too much. She said, I love Corvettes. I said, really? Well, it just so happens we've got four in stock. Well, those Corvettes were a little out of her price range. She said, I really, really, really like, you know, those gold ones. Well, they made several gold vets over the years. And she said, send me a Google it and send me a picture of what you're looking for. Well, she sent me a picture of a war bonnet yellow, gold, 1972 Corvette. 68 to 72 Corvettes. Bumper cars, they're up in value, but neck and neck with a Camaro in price. I found a gorgeous example of a war bonnet yellow or Riverside Gold. 72 Corvette. 454, 360 horse, nothing crazy. Factory air, two owner car. So, month goes by, she's back in town. She sees the car, she loves the car, she buys the car. She owns the Camaro and the Corvette at this point. She says, I don't need two cars right now. I said, well, I'll sell the Camaro for you on consignment. She said, I'll make you a deal. You sell the Camaro, I want you to go find me a truck. I mean, this girl's really put some serious skin in the collector car hobby. If you know anybody interested, I got a gorgeous 70 split bumper RSSS Camaro that is owned by an AVN award-winning adult film star that could be yours today. And she's so nice. I mean, she's very polite. But uh, the boyfriend's the funniest part. And, and, and I love to joke. I mean, I did stand-up comedy for years. So naturally, if I can't joke with you, I don't even want to be around you. And we were joking around, showing, throwing some war stories back and forth. And he said, yeah, I've slept with every woman in Pickens County but my mother and my sister. And he was like bragging, so I patted him on the back. I said, well, between the two of us, we got them all. <laughs>